Okay, now we're one game away from accomplishing that goal of bringing home some jewelry. Dane the D Train Blanton. We never thought of anything but, but winning, but we knew we were in for it. We uh, were going up against a team from Portugal, Maya and Brena. Six foot three. His sister was an Olympian at Montreal in 76. He was an All-American at indoor version of this game. Now living, eating and sleeping the beach version. This is Eric Fanoi Moana. Portugal has always been a team that Dane and I would battle all the time. It was always going to come down to the end. This team had finished fourth place in the 1996 Olympics. We battled Portugal, and if you wanted to watch good, solid volleyball, you just watch us play. And these guys had a lot of endurance as well, and we just knew it was gonna be a battle before we started. In this day and age, most matches last about 45 minutes, and that's, you know, two out of three to 21 rally scoring. It wasn't a surprise to us that it took longer than an hour to get to 10 all. For this to be 10 all in a game to 15, after an hour, you can imagine a lot of siding out going on. Serve, side out, serve, side out. It just kept going. And I know Eric was getting tired, I know I was getting tired, but he was getting a lot more serves, and they were sticking to that game plan. And uh, after being deadlocked at 10 all for such a long time, I think it was close to 20 side outs, they finally got that 11th point. Oh. We hadn't used a timeout, so we decided to use a timeout at that time. It's hot, it's sweaty, it's humid. I got sweat coming in my eyes. I can't really see that well. I have to clean out my glasses. My arms are soaked. I'm trying to get all the moisture off of it. I hate to have Dane get up there and throw a ball or you know, myself throw a ball. Under the circumstances, I thought I was being fast. And the whistle blows. It wasn't like a, a mishandled set. It wasn't like a, a ball on the line that looked out that might have been in. It was a delay of game call where after an hour of play, everyone was tired. There was no warning. So he says red card, which resulted in a point. So now it's not 11-10, it's 12-10. We almost lost our minds, and uh, I wanted to pull the guy off the, the, the ref stand. And, and I know Eric, he wanted to kill him. Eric, uh, <laughs> you know, I was, I was extremely angry. I just couldn't believe at the semifinals, Olympic Games, winner goes to the gold medal match, you decide as a referee um, unfairly give the other team a red card and nothing to do with Portugal. They didn't have anything to do with it. It was just a uh, referee trying to get involved to hurry the game up. You know, all the emotions came in like, how could you do that? This game is very intense. It took us an hour and 15 or so to get to 11-10 and then all of a sudden you just give them a free point I couldn't see in front of me for a little bit, and then I just said, we got to, that's it, you know, where our back is against the wall. We somehow 
recovered, recouped, settled down, relaxed. It was 12 to 10. I just, I just knew that you know we needed to make something happen. So I tried to turn it up a little bit. I decided to serve down the line directly instead of cross court, and that made it 11 to 12. And I remember serving angle and getting an ace serve that hit the line. So now it was 12 to 12. Now after it was 10 all for after an hour of fighting, now we scored four points in a matter of minutes it seemed like, and all in a row. And so it's 14 now to 12. I go back to serve for my fifth serve in a row and I was going to try to go right down the middle. Fortunately for us, they changed the rules this year that the let serve, they made it legal. that moment I knew you know that was it it was an a serve 15 12 was the final and now we were going to the gold medal match and so I just I think I fell to my knees and threw up my hands in the air and Eric came up and uh, tackled me and you know we knew we had accomplished that goal of bringing home some jewelry and uh, now it was really time to reevaluate the goals and uh, get down to business <laughs>